Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading from the Course of Miracles, the Daily Lessons. And we're on lesson 259 today. Let me remember that there is no sin. Sin is the only thought that makes the goal of God seem unattainable. What else could blind us to the obvious and make the strange and the distorted seem more clear? What else but sin engenders our attacks? What else but sin could be the source of guilt, demanding punishment and suffering? And what but sin could be the source of fear, obscuring God's creation, giving love the attributes of fear and attack? Father, I would not be insane today. I would not be afraid of love nor seek for refuge in its opposite. For love can have no opposite. You are the source of everything there is. And everything that is remains with you and you with it. <laughs> I love this lesson. I'll read it again. Lesson 259. Let me remember that there is no sin. Sin is the only thought that makes the goal of God seem unattainable. What else could bind us to the obvious and make the strange and the distorted seem more clear? What else but sin engenders our attacks? What else but sin could be the source of guilt, demanding punishment and suffering? And what but sin could be the source of fear, obscuring God's creation, giving love the attributes of fear and attack? Father, I would not be insane today. I would not be afraid of love, nor seek for refuge in its opposite. For love can have no opposite. You are the source of everything there is, and everything that is remains with you and you with it. Yes, I, I love this lesson. Uh, there's nothing wrong. <laughs> I keep coming back to that. There's nothing wrong. Everything is God. Everything. And so there is no sin. Everything is God. So I hope you have a great day with this lesson today. It's a wonderful one. And I'll hope to see you here tomorrow for the next daily lesson. Namaste and much love.